Hello, my name is Lynn Allen and I want to welcome you to the AU 2011 Primer. Here you'll receive some valuable information to help ensure your AU experience is the best it can be from start to finish. With so many things going on at one time at Autodesk University, well, you might find yourself a little overwhelmed. No problem, I'm here to help you out, so let's get started. Taking a look at the objectives, I want to make sure that you know all the things that we'd like you to do before you even get to AU. We're going to definitely help you get ready. And I'm also going to point out just some of the AU highlights, some of the not to be missed events. I thought that you might enjoy some general information about AU 2011. We're expecting about 7,500 participants to show up in Las Vegas. And these participants are coming from 82 different countries and we're very excited about that. If you take a look at the virtual and the in-person sessions that we're offering this year at AU 2011, we have over a thousand sessions, so lots of learning to be had. This year, we're really jumping into social media with both feet when it comes to Autodesk University, and we're hoping that you will do the same. So get on Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn or even the AU network so that you can fully take advantage of all the things that social media is going to have to offer you this year at AU. I mean, here you get a chance to get info straight from the AU team as well as from your peers, get the latest and greatest information. So we're really encouraging you to take advantage of social media. And for those of you who are on Twitter, we encourage you to use hashtag AU2011 in case you want to tweet about all things AU or if you want to find out additional information. Once again, that's hashtag AU2011. I thought I might give you some advice when it comes to packing. Autodesk University tends to be a fairly casual conference. You won't see too many people walking around in suit and tie, that's for sure. So we recommend casual to business casual attire. We also recommend comfortable shoes because there is a lot of walking to be had at AU. So we want your feet to be nice and comfortable. And even though AU is in Las Vegas and it's in the desert, one might think it's nice and warm, right? But I, I will tell you that it, in the evening it can get quite chilly and sometimes the conference rooms can also be a little on the cold side. So you might want to bring a jacket or a sweater. Wednesday is Augie Day. So if you do have your Augie logo wear, we recommend that you bring that so you can fit in with the other Augie members. If you're not familiar with the Autodesk User Group International, you can find out more about them at augie.com. Give a little plug for them. We like to believe that at Autodesk University, you're not just attending, but that you're an active participant. This is your conference, and we encourage you to network and meet other people. And as a result of that, it would be good to have some business cards that you can share with them so they won't forget about you after they leave AU. And hopefully you'll collect a lot of business cards as well. And I always like to have a USB drive handy. You might want to do the same thing just in case you run into somebody that has that information that you want to take home with you. Maybe it's a teacher, maybe it's a fellow attendee, but nevertheless, USB drives always come in handy, right? And feel free to bring your laptops or your tablets to take notes with. We will have wireless internet available to you. Uh, just realize that there's no place to check them in, so you will have to carry them around with you. I thought I'd also share with you the average temperature for the AU time frame. Right now that's trending about 60 degrees Fahrenheit with a low of 41 degrees Fahrenheit. So as I mentioned, it could be quite chilly, but of course we recommend that you check the weather before you go. It's also very important that you print your schedule before you go. We used to print out little copies of your schedule that fit inside of your badge, but they were so small nobody could read the print. So now we want you to print your schedules out before you go. All right, don't forget that. Some of you will want to have a hard copy of your handouts or of the AU show guide. If that is the case, then you need to print those out before you go as well. The only classes where we will print out handouts are for the hands-on labs because you really need to have those handouts in front of you as you're participating in those. So something else for you to think about. And then I also encourage you to write down any burning questions that you might have. I'm sure that there are things in the office that you want answers to. Write all those things down and bring them with you so that you can get them answered at Autodesk University. Last year we had an app for Autodesk University, but this year we're going to make it extra easy for anybody who has a tablet or a smartphone. So as long as you can get to the internet, you can access the AU mobile website. And you're going to love this because you can check out your schedule, you can change classes, there's an interactive exhibit hall map, the 
Twitter and Facebook channels are going to be there. You can even provide feedback on the sessions that you attend, all from the AU mobile website. So we encourage you to check it out ahead of time before you go so you're nice and familiar with it. When you arrive, I'm hoping that's Sunday or Monday, you can take a taxi if you want to get to the hotel. It's about $20 or so. I recommend that maybe you look around you and see if you see someone else who has an Autodesk University bag or t-shirt. <laughs> maybe you can uh, share a taxi with somebody. Strongly recommend that. Save some money. I will t also tell you that the taxi lines can be very long and very daunting, but they go very they go quite quickly. The Las Vegas airport seems to have that pretty well figured out, so don't worry about that. They'll go very fast. You can also take a shuttle bus. That's about half the price of a taxi. Uh, you may end up with a few extra stops on the way to the hotel, so you just have to decide what's more important to you, right? Time or money. It's completely up to you. There are two hotels for Autodesk University, the Palazzo and the Venetian, and they're right next door to each other, but you do want to make sure that your taxi or your shuttle bus takes you to the right one, okay? So check your registration so that you know which hotel you need to go to. They're both great hotels, really nice hotels. So you're going to check into your hotel, you're going to get all settled, and then I recommend that you check in to AU as well. You're just going to go to the convention center off of the Venetian. You're going to go to ballroom E, but let me assure you, it doesn't matter if you remember that. You get to the convention center, there will be so many signs and lots of people in bright red vests to direct you to check in. So no worries for you. You get to the convention center and let AU take over from there, okay? I thought you might want to see just kind of a general overview of the Las Vegas Strip. And you can see the airport down the lower right-hand corner. You can see that the Venetian and the Palazzo are located just right about smack dab in the middle in a great location. Here we have the hours for AU check-in. So if you arrive on Sunday, you have from 4 to 8 o'clock to get checked in. And if you arrive on Monday, you have from 6.30 in the morning to 10 o'clock at night. Now, I really recommend to you that you do not wait until Tuesday to register. Otherwise, you're going to be faced with really long lines. Okay, so definitely register early. It's very easy to check in at Autodesk University. You're going to use the self-check-in kiosks. Then you're going to go to the counter and you're going to get your badge. And then the exciting part, you're going to pick up your AU merchandise. This year we have this great messenger bag that you're going to love. We have some sunglasses. And the Autodesk Imagine Design Create book, which is filled with some amazing customers who use Autodesk products. So I think you're going to enjoy that. And then just a friendly reminder that we need you to wear your badge at all times during AU. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get into your classes or the exhibit hall or any of the other AU functions. Okay, so don't forget to wear your badge. Not to be missed is the AU general session. That's bright and early Tuesday morning. That's really how we kick off Autodesk University. Here you'll get a chance to hear from Autodesk CEO Carl Bass, the Chief Technology Officer Jeff Kowalski, and Editor-in-Chief of Wired Magazine Chris Anderson, who happens to be an authority on emerging technologies. During the general session, you'll hear about some of the latest technology trends. You'll hear about how Autodesk products are going to align with these trends, and you'll get a chance to hear from some very innovative customers. So not to be missed, the AU general session, and you'll see yours truly there as well. Innovation forums, these are fabulous and are not to be missed. If you did not sign up for them, it is not too late. You can change your schedule and sign up for them. There's the promise of the cloud, right? We hear about the cloud everywhere. Maybe you have some concerns about the clouds or questions. This is going to clarify everything for you. Great session. Everything Changes, the Future of Managing Innovation. This is about collaboration and data management and has some great presenters in there. Here you'll find Randy Zuckerman, the sister of Mark Zuckerman, who is also one of the founders of Facebook. She'll be presenting in that session. Creativity 2.0, Making Design Personal Again. Okay, I have to tell you, this is my favorite. Sir Ken Robinson is going to be presenting in this session along with some other amazing presenters. You definitely want to check this out, okay? The Creativity 2.0. The Innovation Cage Match, Gray Matter Smackdown. <laughs> this is going to be a fun session. This is where basically a debate in a cage, I don't know how else better to describe it, with some experts on innovation. I think this is going to be great fun and very educational. Cool BIM, Digital Prototyping and Visualization, How Modeling Improves the World. I think this is also going to be a great session. I know that they have an expert on prosthetic limbs who's going to be presenting and talking about how 3D printing is really advancing the technology here. So really interesting session. And, and last but not least, Designing a Better World. This is going to be focusing on sustainability in many different disciplines. So have a look at that. 
Autodesk University Virtual is now live. Not everybody gets the opportunity to go to the live event in Las Vegas, so you can participate in AU Virtual. Maybe you have some coworkers back in the office who still want to be involved in AU, but unfortunately they don't get to go to the live event. There's over 200 classes with Q&A, including Spanish and Portuguese. AU Virtual is broadcast from Las Vegas. It's absolutely free of charge. That's the best part, right? And you can log in via the AU website or with Facebook or Twitter, whichever you prefer. This gives you an opportunity to interact with Autodesk product users from all over the world. It's a nice community feeling to AU Virtual. And right now, the certification prep classes are up and running on Autodesk University Virtual. So if you plan on taking a certification exam, which I'll talk about a little bit later, definitely watch the prep classes. It's going to help you be more prepared. Also this year, we have AUTV, which is kind of a, you know, a behind the scenes interviews, some captured video content that we're going to get from Autodesk University from the live event. Maybe somebody will even interview you while you're there. And AU Virtual also has over 60 exhibitors. So take a look at Autodesk University Virtual. Also not to be missed is the exhibit hall. We have over 160 vendors to share more than we've ever had. So it should be a fabulous exhibit hall. Here you'll have a chance to see some of the objects from the Autodesk gallery. You'll also be able to participate in the tech shop, which is a do-it-yourself workshop and fabrication studio. You can visit the Autodesk International Community Pavilion. There are all kinds of things to do in the exhibit hall. You definitely want to visit that. Another great advantage of going to Las Vegas is that you can get certified on Autodesk products for free. There's some great assessment tests that you can take online, and as I mentioned to you before, there's also some certification prep classes that are online. At Autodesk University, there'll be a nice study area that has some Autodesk official training guides that you can look over to help prepare you for the test. It is first come, first serve, but we do encourage you to take more than one. When you're at Autodesk University, we had somebody pass, I want to say, six certification exams. It was unbelievable. We also encourage you to test early and beat the rush if you want to get this cool AU survival kit. Definitely show up on Monday from 2 to 6. And on the screen is a list of certification exams that will be offered. You'll also find that there are two levels of certification exams. There's an associate level and a professional level. So get certified. It's great to have on your resume. I also strongly encourage you to attend the freshman orientation on Monday at 5 o'clock. You'll see that that is in Ballroom G, but once again, you don't need to remember that. It should show up in your scheduler, and you probably received an email talking to you about the freshman orientation. You will need to be checked in to attend, but once again, I do highly recommend this. This is where you're going to get all of the latest information. You want to be in the know at Autodesk University. You want to know about everything that's going on. You need to attend this event. And bring your smartphones or your tablets because we're going to actually be holding some live polls in the freshman orientation and you're going to need those in order to participate. It's going to be great fun. If you get lost or confused about anything at AU, the AU staff is there to help you out. They're wearing bright red vests that say AU on them. You can't miss them and they're very friendly. So they are there for you. So here are the top five things that I think that you should do before you go. If you're going to take a certification exam, make sure that you watch the certification prep class that goes with it. Check out the innovation forums. It's not too late to add those to your schedule, which I highly recommend. You want to have a nice, well-rounded curriculum. You'll also see that there have been some new classes that have been added, so you might want to check those out. And I don't know if you signed up for any of the unconference sessions, but those are really great sessions that allow you to participate in a discussion with your fellow AU attendees, something for you to think about. Definitely print out your class schedule before you go. You want to have that handy. If you decide that you want to have a hard copy of the handouts or the show guides, you're going to want to print those out before you go, right? And last but not least, log in and get yourself familiar with the AU 2011 mobile website so you are all set and ready to go. If you have some questions before you go to Autodesk University, not a problem. You can email autodeskuniversity at autodeskevents.com. You can email me lynn.allenautodesk.com and I'll forward your question to the right person if I don't know the answer. <laughs> or some of you prefer to pick up the phone. You can also call these two phone numbers that you have on the screen and this information can also be found on the Autodesk University website. Hopefully you found the information in this webcast helpful and now you have a clear picture of what you can expect from your AU experience. For more detailed information, not to mention a great way to kick off AU, be sure to join us for freshman orientation on the Monday before AU. 
Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you at Autodesk University.